Hey YouTube, what's up? So the Pro Tour is going on, and guess what? 8-Rack was in it uh, deep into day two. Uh, it's unclear where the player will finish. I can't really pronounce his name, but uh, he was in the running for top 16 for a while, but it doesn't look like he's going to make it. Uh, in any case, he's a friend of Jan Miller, and uh, Jan Miller clued him into the deck, and it's it's somewhere between like reactive and proactive. He's running bridges, three bridges, which is cool, but he's only he's also running a few bobs, which ended up costing him a, the match where if he would have won, he would have made top sixteen. So let's see what we got here. Uh, yeah, goodbye, Miss Bind Click. I mean, uh, Bitter Blossom. Alright, so, to this game now. Uh, Blue Black Fairies. I haven't seen it in a while. Um, I don't think it's good. But, yeah, I've been wrong before. I could be wrong again. In any case, I think our matchup is solid. I mean, not a granted an auto win, but I, I've never really had too much problem with them. I'm going to go ahead and try the Lily here. Let's see if it hits. Okay, so it gets remanded. No big deal. Aww. That, however, is a really nice rip. I kind of want to keep this in my hand for Raven's Crime Fodder because he doesn't have ways to destroy this. He can bounce it, and that's about it. But he could bounce and counterspell it or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll keep. I'll keep the ruin for now. I not no reason to play it. I'll give myself the option to do it later. Okay, so I can double crime him, and I will pitch that um, buried ruin because he's got the tech edge, and he's gonna kill it anyway. So spell stutter or something. I don't know. Can I cryptic command the retrace? Seems like an awful waste of resources. He really wants to like snapcast or something back or well, let's find out what he's got. Spell stutter, okay. Kill this and kind of still get my thought seized through when I do it like that. Alright, whatever. Take some rack damage.
That's cool. Lands are good. I don't get that. I guess I get it. Just gives out. Doesn't even want to play it out. It hurts too much. No, I'm not gonna change the thing. So I have to check that out. See if there's like a easy way to share those videos. I've been typing it all out all this time. Hmm. Nice hand, but low lands. Don't be me. Don't take the one landers like I do, guys. I take them all the time. And I lose because of I lose games to it. There's no question about that. See, I, I like that risk, I guess, because now the hand is pretty damn sweet. Alright, so he's got the Spell Stutter, Mana Lake, ooh, the EE. E. Hmm. Hmm. I'll hit. So he's like, I'm tempted to hit the EE, -E, but I think I'll hit the Mana Leak, and I'll play the Bitter Blossom, and then he might be tempted to play the EE -E with zero tokens, or he might play it with one token right now, and we'll see. Uh, he wants to potentially spell stutter my 1cc spell, but it's going to be a 2cc spell. And hits. So we'll see if he if he might use his um, EE at zero counters, his explosives. Oh, he puts it at two. That's amazing. He's scared of that. That's fine. That's that's fine for me. Uh, this gives me an opportunity to safely play my bridge. I've got a dude out of Bitter Blossom already, so... I mean, he's going to want to try and blow that up quickly. Did he have another EE? I thought it had the other picture on that one. So he blows that up, okay. Alright, so now I can do some, some damage here. Alright, so... I'm going to play that land. I'm going to thought of season. out, so does the Affliction. Go ahead and swing with that. See, I find this match quite easy. He loses a fairy count. Plays a land. Can't swing at me with any of his uh, man lands. He 
use Smarty to get rid of that one, because that's probably the bigger threat. He does. He is smart. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really care about either one of them. Actually, the Cyan I do care about, because I don't want to be able to block with that. Put that out, and good luck to you there, buddy. Oops, be careful now. I gotta just stop making misplays. I had a match last night that I won and I posted the video, but it was fraught with misplays. Um, I really gotta tighten up my play. Alright. Turns it into a lightning bolt. Because it triggered the affliction. Also, I can get that back. And I will get that back at the end of his turn. is like for her, from his perspective it's got to be the most frustrating thing in the world the last thing you want to do as a blue black control deck is have somebody tear your hand apart and you definitely don't want to see this um, bitter blossom either it's it's like a total nightmare for them so moving on but uh, I think that is why you will not be seeing any kind of a threat at least to eight rack from blue black control or blue black fake now, I've been up and down the Blue Black Fey forums telling them that they really need to rethink that if uh, if you're planning for that to be like a serious contender, you need to re rework it completely. Uh, I, I think the only way it exists is as a very light Fey package and a Grixis shell. I, I think there's some Fey creatures that are good enough on their own that we don't care about their tribal aspects and uh, the, those are the creatures you want to use and then you also want to use Snapcaster and you want to use uh, you know the Grixis who gives you red you want to be able to um, bolt and then bounce you know snap a bolt onto wild Nacatl and you know Kurt Ape and all that crap so that's my thought on it. That's where I see the deck going. If anybody really wants to try and uh, you know make a, a playable strategy out of it, right now I don't think the blue black fairy is a is a playable strategy or not a very effective strategy. Uh, this is my list that I'm running with guys. So I, I've kind of uh, used I've upgraded go for the throat to doom blade because I, I don't know. There's no black creatures really anymore based on these last results, Jun's not being played, and that was the only deck running black creatures that I cared about. So, you know, Affinity's still around, it always will be, until they, I don't know, make something a lot better that's similar. So, Robots is still around, so why not use uh, the old Doomblade? Plus, the picture on it is freaking awesome. I just love Doomblade's picture. Um... Yeah, that's the list, guys. It's working really well. So, I have in my sideboard really a trans, it's almost a transformative sideboard. It's just to transform it into a zoo killer. I put these last um, eleven cards in against zoo and take out my bitter blossoms and thought seizes and stuff, and in rent mines and just go after them and turn it into anti zoo. Uh, just because people were getting scared, they're like, "Oh, we can't play eight rack against zoo." You can, you just sideboard against it, but I don't think we have to worry about that anymore because Zoo did not do very well. Uh, at least Small Zoo did not do very well at the Pro Tour Valencia. Um, none of them made top 16 or anything close, uh, either small or big. So, you know, it, its novelty will wear off. Small Zoo is very linear. It, it gets whooped by combo. 
combos everywhere and that's where we crush so I'm really excited about 8 rack had an 8 rack player make it deep into day 2 um, awesome good good times thanks for watching later guys